Well, we must understand as Jesus Christ, really, well, this world system is designed and created for the sake of abusing truth. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like this. What if, you know, Jesus is like, you know, uh, I'm going to show everybody how much the world hates the truth. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I'm going to show uh, a prime example to those that understand, or those that uh, will have eyes to see and ears to hear. I'm going to show the whole world how much the world hates the truth or how much this world system this world system is not people it's not the world as the people is a world system that is unfortunately uh in charge of how things go and people the influence that uh happened throughout human history you know uh civilizations find itself tending to influence negative behavior throughout human history and negative results come after the situation so you know it be that kind of situation that happens y'all have a good day all right have a good day uh yeah uh but but you know it's like it's kind of like this that god wanted to show us uh that you know show us how how much how bad this world system is about how they treat truth you know what i'm saying as we know uh john 14 6 he's the way the truth and the life jesus is and here's the way the truth and the life you know uh finna get uh crucified but watch this the first protocol that happened you know I'm, 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 well, I was talking about the Garden of Gethsemane on the other message, but I'm talking now about, uh, now Jesus is in jail. Now, watch this. I love order. I love the order sequence of, of, of how this went down. Now, guess who's the first person is abusing truth? You know, guess who are the first people, kind of people that are abusing truth? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the religious people. Oh, man. The religious people, the people that pretend that they are having a closer relationship with God, you know. The Pharisees, the Sadducees. Yes, the, the Jewish officers came and arrest Jesus to bring them to the Pharisees, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, and the Pharisees, you know, uh, shows us how they think about truth. They mock Jesus and, you know, joked on Jesus and, and they, and Caiaphas, the leader of the Jewish, uh, religious leaders slaps the, slaps the truth in the face. Ooh, boy, y'all just don't know what that really means spiritually slap the truth in the face see the face as what you know what what's the whole idea about you know being uh about being a christian seeking his face yes seeking his face you the face is a, a vital place as we know moses asked the uh jesus god can i see your face see this face is a vital position not only in a natural but spiritually but I wish I can go on there but Caiaphas slap Jesus in the face now Caiaphas is a religious leader so hmm is religious leaders now today slapping the truth in the face hmm interesting is they slapping truth in the face or they're embracing truth and loving truth uh, leave it for you to investigate that. But anyway, uh, the Caiaphas slaps the truth in the face. And now, the now Caiaphas, now watch this. These are religious people. These are people that say that they have a relationship with God, but really don't have, really not about relationship with God. But they use their position 
not for just to influence the word of God, but for power that they can control the people, you know, control the masses to see them, see me, see me, you know, kind of situation ordeal. I don't know about the truth is going to be pretty much, you know, uh, presented through the religious leaders. I mean, see what they did to the truth. Y'all see what the religious leader did to the truth. Slapped him in the face. What, Ma, what bothered him throughout his whole ministry. You know what I'm saying? The Pharisees go up there and, you know, hate on Jesus because he, Jesus is getting all this attention from the people of Israel, you know, coming to hear him. Yes, religious leaders are going to be the first one to slap the truth in the face. Now, Who's next? Oh, of course, Rome, the secular system of the world is definitely going to be the people that slap, well not, well, not just slap the truth in the face, but they will be about, you know, first of all, what I love about, you know, people don't look at pilots, <laughs> pilots, <laughs> Pilate's direction. Well, here's the thing about the world concerning, you know, world systems. Like how Pilate treated Jesus. Like, like, who's this guy? Who, who's this? I mean, he's a nobody. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's how they really treated Jesus. Like, you know, y'all present me. Y'all pre present this man to me. It's like, did, did he kill somebody? Did he... Did he did a by heinous kind against Rome? Well, Rome has nothing to do with this guy. You know what I'm saying? We don't really care about this guy. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. We don't really care about this guy. You know what I'm saying? He's he's no good to us, you know? And, and the Jew, of course, the religious leaders. Oh, this, no, you should care about this guy. This guy says he's a king. And Pilate's like, you know, so what? I mean, he's crazy. You know, he's nuts, really. But Pilate was on that agenda that, you know, and he says, I find no fault in this person that y'all sent to me to want to ex and want me to execute. I mean, he has no, no dealings with Rome, you know. And the ideal of what the world system will treat as truth, they don't care about the truth. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't really care. They, 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 they saw, Pilate kind of saw Jesus as this insignificant normal person, you know what I'm saying? They don't know, they don't know, he, he may not know about Jesus from Tim but two, but you know, he like, this is no dealings of Rome. We busy trying to, um, you know, stop the zealots, the Jewish zealots from, you know, killing our soldiers that they're trying to occupy, you know, Israel. Is Jesus a, a zealot that's killing you know, our Roman soldiers, well, we don't care less about them. I mean, that's how really Rome was about Jesus. You know, he find no fault in Jesus. He ain't did nothing. He ain't, he ain't kill up his, you know, army. Who cares? You know, the world system don't care about the truth. But, you know, all the manipulation of the religious system and says, well, he claims to be king and our king is Caesar. And you know, you need to do away with this guy here. And watch this, what the religious system did that is so powerful that I hope you mainly get this idea that I've been trying to get you to meditate on and, and really contemplate this idea. They got the people to re accept a liar in Barabbas and got them to reject the truth yes religious people has that power of influence and they have an influential power that has the ability to get people to reject truth not accept the truth because no, they don't want the truth they, they, they don't want you to get the truth religious people don't want they don't want the truth and they don't want people to have the truth Oh, you know? uh, could that be describing a lot of people these days, you know, religious leaders these days? I don't know. You do your own investigation. But anyway, 
Uh, they don't want, they don't, they want the, and watch this, they want the world to destroy them. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to put their dirty hands on or do, do any dirty things concerning the truth. They, they want people that's, you know, get that a system that is made to be about doing bad things to people to destroy the truth. They don't want to look like the villain. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're busy being a villain behind closed doors, religious people are. Busy being a villain behind closed doors, but, you know, they don't. They let the world system, you know, do their dirty work. Yeah, interesting. But, uh, yeah, so now they let Rome do the dirty work. And, and of course, you know, the religious people had the power at that time because the, the, the pilot was forced to pretty much hand the truth. I mean, do uh, crucify the truth. You know what I'm saying? He had to crucify the truth. You know what I'm saying? And Pilate washed his hands uh, from this abuse to this person that he has nothing against. He n never knew this person to do any crime, any bad thing. He has nothing against Jesus Christ, but he had to do it based upon the religious system and, you know, do away the truth. But here's the thing I want to really talk about. I discovered and how Jesus showed a pattern that when it came to secular outside sources people like the canaanite woman the canaanite woman uh you know if you know the story that you know had a daughter you know one of jesus filled his daughter jesus says you know something like i won't you know i'd rather deal with the dogs or something like that you know more like calling her a dog but she says even the dogs eat the crumbs and then jesus says i never saw any faith throughout Israel, you know, concerning what she had. And she was a Canaanite woman. She wasn't of Israel. And the, the, you know, the hope you know the uh, centurion, the centurion served uh, a soldier, you know, asked for Jesus to heal him. And, and the centurion said, you know, if, if you are men of authority, you know, under authority, just speak the word and I know my servant will be healed. And Jesus said, wow, I never seen any great faith throughout Israel. And notice, I hope you know that Jesus insulting every, every Jewish person in Israel that says, you know, they don't really have any faith. Yes, he's insulting them. Yeah. Um, yeah. And see, the secular, they have a desire for truth, but they may not live it. They may not, you know, be about, you know, doing it, but they still have a desire for truth. But it's for those that's supposed to truly represent the truth to be about helping people to understand the truth that they can live according to the truth is what people need to be understanding concerning what I'm trying to say concerning a system, you know, a system of people, you know. And that's what I've been noticing that that sinners, they have a desire for the truth. But do those that says they represent the truth want to give them the truth? It's pretty much the problem that is, is not creating, is not trying to be about making solutions of, of bringing harmony between Christians and sinners to have discussions about the certain things about the Word of God that people can get a better understanding concerning the truth. Because like I said, or like the Bible says, we're supposed to be about fellowship. And I believe fellowship is supposed to bring the proper arena to get sinners and Christians to discuss the Word of God in a place that, that they start to now to make sense of what the Word of God is really all about that needs to be, to me, established concerning if people really want to know the truth of what really the Word of God is all about. That, you know, that's another message. But... You know what I'm saying? But in, if this is not happening, but the world will abuse the truth, you know what I'm saying, regardless of, even in spite of their, you know, they have a desire for the truth because they operate in sin and they desire darkness, they desire wickedness, they desire all the things that are contrary to the word of God, they will hate truth and they will crucify truth. That's the thing about the world system. So hope you understand this truth abuse and I hope you don't be about abusing the truth be about you know uh, preserving the truth and speaking the truth and living the truth those that represent the truth christians
concerning Jesus Christ. All right, that's the message. God be glory. Here and forever, in Jesus' name, amen.